welcome back to my channel. So I'm so sorry that I've been gone for quite some time. I did not have a computer for a while because my hard drive on my computer was completely fried and when I brought it to the Apple store, they fixed it and then when they were fixing it, something else broke or they broke something else. So it had to stay in the shop for a little bit longer. So I was out of a computer for like a couple weeks. So we finally got it back and I finally have a couple days off so I'm going to film, film, film as much as I can for you guys. I also am going on a vacation in about a week and a half and I'm going on a cruise with my closest friends so I'm going to try do some vlogging if I can. I'm going to bring my old camera and I'm going to take you guys along certain parts of the trip so you guys can, you know, see what's going on in other islands maybe and I would like to try something new more than just tutorials and then favorites videos and stuff like that. I want to try something a little bit different, step out of my comfort zone a little bit for you guys. And I don't know, maybe it'll be interesting, maybe you guys will like it, maybe I won't do it ever again, who knows. So yeah, so today I wanted to do my favorites video. I want to catch up for all the lost time that I have been gone and share with you some of the products I've been really enjoying over the past like two months I want to say. And yeah, I'm just going to jump into it. The first thing I have been really enjoying is this Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Cream Kit. This is in the color medium. The thing about Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I have loved her brand for this particular reason, is that she caters to all skin tones and I really appreciate that being a woman of color it is very hard to find things that are for our skin tone so I really appreciate that she does things that can go towards our skin tone and also people who are fair like they have a hard time finding things to match their skin tone as well and I feel like she does a really good balance of having a really good variety of pigmentation for all different skin shades so this cream contour kit has six different pans and they range from highlighting shades which are these two here and to be perfectly honest I have never used those two shades because Underneath my eyes, it is very easy to crease under there, so I do not like to add too much, and because it is a thicker texture of substance, I do not want to put that underneath my eyes because it will get cakey really quick and leave a lot of lines. So I have used this as a color corrector. I do have to go very easy on it because, like I said, it can get very cakey for me. I will more use this for spot treatments on my face when I want to color correct my face, not so much my under eyes. This is a really great brow bone highlight. I also feel like maybe this one could be a good brow bone highlight as well. And these two shades are really great for contour. When I want a very simple cream contour, I will go for this middle shade. And when I want to have a more defined contour, I will go for the deeper shade. And they are really nice. The only thing I will say is that when I use them on their own, they're a little bit thicker. They're a little bit harder to blend out. But I did... Notice that when I mix them with a beauty oil, I've been seeing a lot of YouTubers and people on Instagram mixing their cream contours with uh, oil, and it's been gliding on like a dream. It blends out like, like you wouldn't believe. So I've been really enjoying that since I've been adding the beauty oil to it, and it's been really great. I used it today, and it was a piece of cake. It made cream contouring very simple, because I feel like cream contouring can be very difficult at times. I don't know if you guys feel me on that one. But yeah. So the next thing I want to share with you guys that I've been absolutely loving, this has to be my favorite palette of all time currently, and it is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. I love this palette. I think it's so great. I love Too Faced as a brand, and the color selection in here is completely up my alley. I think they have such a great variety of transition shades, as well as deep shades, as well as like outer corner shades matte shades i just think that they always do a really great job with these like chocolate bar palettes semi-sweet palettes of balance they have a really nice balance of shimmeries of metallics of mattes and the consistency of it is very good it's very pigmented i just feel like the quality of this palette is unbelievable especially for the price and i think that you can do so many different great awesome looks and it's got really nice pops of color in here as well. I love purples and I love this like brick red. I love that as a transition shade. And I just love this palette. It's got like your brow bone highlight. It's just a one stop shop for me. And it has quickly become my favorite palette. I used to love the Lorac Frontline Pro original palette, but I find that I haven't been using it as much as I used to in the past. And I've been gravitating towards this when I'm going on trips and stuff like that. So this is great and I think that it could 
be really nice for all skin tones, not just darker women or people who are medium, but I really think that it's really great for those who are in my skin tone as well because it's got a really great variety of transition shades. So I think that's really important and it is the true definition of a one-stop shop palette. So I love that. So the next palette I have been adoring and I am obsessed with it, you guys. I am so obsessed that I bought a backup because it is limited edition. So the palette I'm talking about is the Jaclyn Hill Times Becca palette. This palette is incredible, you guys. I have always been a huge supporter of the Becca brand. I love them just like Anastasia. I feel like they're really great of having a really, really great variety of skin tone shades. They have some dark shades. They have some light shades. They have medium shades. I feel like they do such a good job with their variety of color for different skin tones and I can't appreciate that enough in makeup brands and when they teamed up with Jaclyn Hill I was super excited because I love Jaclyn Hill I think she's such a babe and I love the brand in itself so when they did the collaboration I was really looking forward to it I think this palette is absolutely stunning I think that everything in it is user friendly no matter what skin tone you are so <clears throat> when she was reviewing the palette online and telling um, her subscribers like the story behind it she went on to say that original champagne pop highlight did really well they made it a part of the permanent collection but she noticed that in the feedback that those who are deeper in skin tone said it looked a little bit ashy me personally I didn't have a problem with it I love it it's a great highlight but she wanted to make something that catered to those who were deeper in, sh in shade so she made the Prosecco pop which is a little bit more gold whereas the champagne pop is a little bit more peach so I really appreciate that I was like go Jacqueline like go Jacqueline like I was super pumped so Prosecco pop is absolutely gorgeous it is a true golden highlight it looks great for those who are my skin tone and probably darker I have not seen it on anyone darker yet but I love it my cousin who is deeper than me in tone uses it and she loves it as well so I think that it's a great shade and I love the blushes this pink one is probably the one I use the least because it is very bright and not I can always get away with wearing like bright blushes but this pink one is the one I use the least I love this like brownish matte shade and this one is supposed to be a blush topper but I love it as a blush because I love those like MAC mineralized skin finish blushes. I love mineralized blushes. I love blushes that have a little bit of a sheen to it sometimes. I tend to gravitate towards that. So I have been using this palette a lot and I have been taking it on every trip with me. I feel like I've been doing a lot of traveling in the past two months and I have been taking these two palettes with me absolutely everywhere. So I've been loving them. I love this because it has almost everything you need. All you need to do is pack this in a bronzer and you're good to go no matter where you're going. So when I go on my cruise, I'm definitely going to be packing this. So the next thing I have been absolutely loving are these Cover FX highlighting drops. They're the Custom Enhancer Drops. And I have really enjoyed Color FX brand lately. They have the custom drops that are for your foundation that are these concentrated foundation drops and you can mix with like more sheer foundations to up up the amp and it will just kind of give you the option to intensify your foundation and make your coverage more custom to what you feel or maybe what's going on with your skin. If you have a lot of pigmentation on your skin you can add a couple drops and it will really give you that full coverage. Or you can add less drops if your skin's doing really well. It just depends on what you want to add it with. But I love that because it's so great for that. Like sometimes, as a girl, we have hormonal breakouts and we will need more coverage. We're in, but we don't want to use like a really heavy foundation. I feel like it's just really light on the skin and I really like that. So when they came out with these drops, I saw them and I was like, I love highlight. Highlight everything is pretty much my life. I go crazy over highlight. So... These two shades I got were in the color Candlelight, which is a little bit more of a bronzy highlight, and then the color Moonlight, which is a little bit lighter in color. So I noticed that with the two, they're very nice. They go on beautifully. They don't take off my foundation. I have no problems. This one is really great when I want a very dull highlight like not something that's going to be like highlight on fleek you know so it looks like this 
and it's got a dropper and you can see it's like a very beautiful caramel bronze shade and light shade is when I want my highlight to be on fleek this is really great for pairing with all kinds of highlights and this is just a little bit fair in tone but it really does up the amp on my skin tone that moonlight shade also reminds me a lot of the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector that I absolutely love in the color Opal. They're similar in color, so when I love that, I know I would love this one, and it is very, very, very pigmented. So I love those two highlights. They're great, and they will definitely add a lot of oomph to your face, girl. Like, your highlight will be, whoa, girl. So the next thing I'm going to share with you guys is a brush. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 brush. This is the highlighting brush that came, it didn't come with anything when I bought it, but it comes with some highlight packaging, I think, and this is really nice because it gets in there really well to the spots you want to highlight, and I feel like it gives you a lot of precision, and it's not like whew, highlight everywhere, it's just very specific to the areas you want to highlight. So I really like this brush. I have another brush that I also really like, but this one I find I've been gravitating towards and I've been using it a lot and I've been taking it with me everywhere. The next item I have been enjoying as well is something I really bought for my husband, but I've been using it for myself as well. Like he uses it and I use it. And it is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Cream. And I got this at my cosmetic company outlet store, and this was $44, but it is a huge tub of cream. It is, let's see how much it has in here. It doesn't say on here, but it's the biggest one they have because me and my husband go through moisturizers so quickly. So we've always had to buy like bigger ones, and I've been very particular with the highlight the moisturizers I use because I don't like them too greasy but I don't like them too sheer and I love this one it is the perfect balance of moisture and hydration for your skin it feels absolutely phenomenal on the skin you guys have to try this if you're someone who is in need of a new moisturizer you are going to thoroughly enjoy this my husband has completely different skin than i do he's a little bit more dry and he loves this too he's like this is the best moisturizer i have ever used in my life and my husband uses all of my moisturizer he doesn't use like cheap moisturizer he loves origins moisturizer he loves clinique he's used every moisturizer pretty much everything i bring home he bring he uses so He's used so many different kinds, and this has been his favorite thus far, as well as mine. So it's it's unbelievable, you guys. I cannot rave about it enough. I think you should definitely, definitely get a sample, if anything. Like, it, like it's going to change your world, I promise. The next item I've been loving is a perfume, and it is the Dolce & Gabbana number no. 3. I'm not even going to try to say this name, but my friend growing up in college used to always wear that and I was always like Les what do you have on and I will like put a video below of him and I like we we're super close that is one of my best friends in the whole entire world but he introduced me to this and I always loved it every time I went to his apartment I would always spray it on and it's a, like when a, I want to say like a unisex uh, perfume but I think it's more girly than like you know masculine and it's got like a really nice fruity but fresh smell to it. I don't know how to really describe perfumes, but absolutely love it. It is my favorite. I finally got it as a gift from my cousin and I've been loving it. I've already gone through like this much of it and then he got me the big jar. And this stuff smells so good. Every time I wear it, I get so many compliments and oh, I just love it. It's just, it reminds me of like grapefruit mixed with a really fresh linen. I don't know how to explain it, but it is absolutely, mm, it's amazing, I love it, you guys. So the next product I've been enjoying have been foundations. Now, I have had these foundations for quite some time, but if you watch my channel, you know I'm constantly having to shuffle around my beauty drawers and you know switch out products because I wanna use everything that I buy, and I have a lot of makeup, so I have to rotate it and when I rotated this month's foundations, I, I haven't used these in a long time. So the ones I've been using have been the Becca Tobacco. This is the Evermatte Shine Proof Foundation, as well as the Corez Anti-Aging Foundation. These foundations are godsend. I've been really, really loving them. Today, I'm using the Corez one. 
And this one is a little bit more on the moisturizing side, but I love it. It makes your skin look so seamless and so flawless. I love the way it applies. And I typically will apply it with a foundation brush and blend it out with a beauty blender just to bring up the excess product. And I just feel like it gives you such a great healthy glow and I love the way it looks on my skin. And I have combination to oily skin and this is a godsend. I love it so much. I just feel like my skin radiates and it looks so beautiful. It just reminds me of that beautiful JLo glow every time I wear it. As far as the Becca, this one is a more mattifying primer but I love it as well. So sometimes my skin will get oily at times. I don't know if it's just like hormonal or what I'm eating or whatever it is, but I love to use this on my face when I'm going to work, especially because I feel like I get oily at work for some reason. And it gives me a really nice matte, semi-matte finish because it's not completely matte. It keeps me matte in a really good way so to speak but it doesn't make me look dry like it doesn't make my face feel like like you know I just love the way it applies I love the way it looks I can wear this for 13 hours and it will look so fresh and so beautiful and it just makes my skin look very seamless as well so I love these two this one is really great if you have oily skin you will love it I love it so much for that and this one is great if you have combination to dry skin but I have oily skin and I love it too so it just depends on what floats your boot so the next and last item I have for you guys is from Fresh. This is the Sugar Advanced Therapy Lip Treatment. So me, being that I work 13 hours, and of those 13 hours, I do not consume enough water, 9 times out of 10. I've been trying to bring like this water bottle that's a liter and a half and drinking it at least the whole thing on my shift because I just feel so dehydrated sometimes and I can tell when I'm dehydrated because my lips are just so dry when I get home from work and they're just cracked and they're peeling and it's just not a good look and it just I can just tell in my body that I'm just super dehydrated so I've been using this they gave me a sample of it and it was a good size sample with a Sephora order I bought and I've been using it a lot and I have actually kept it in my car because when I come home from work I'm like these lips are so dry so I've been using this sample a lot and it finally ran out and I was like, when it ran out, I just felt like, what am I going to do now? My lips are so dry and I have so many just lip balms and chapsticks, but this one has been my favorite lately because it just feels so moisturizing on the lips. It leaves a nice moisturizing film on your lips that's not greasy, but it's not like overly drying or it's not overly moisturizing. It is just that perfect balance of moisture for your lips and I love it so much. And this product is expensive. Like for the amount of product you get, like look you guys, this is a fresh one. That is how much product you get. And I think it's like $23. A little steep. I'm not cheap, but I am frugal. And I thought that it was super expensive, but I love it that much. So if you're someone who has a problem with very dry lips, drink a lot of water and buy this because you will love it. I know it's steep, but you will enjoy it. So you guys, this completes my video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys really soon, and I will be filming more often. Bye, guys.